Spark, Solaris, Rig, Sprint Vector, Smashbox Arena. These are all games that most of us played for a month and then never touched again. So what is it about VR esports that caused them to die out so quickly? Is it our interest level or the player base? Well, let's hope we figure that out soon, because today, a new contender for your esport attention entered the ring, a VR soccer archery game called Knock. Good save. At its core, Knock is kind of like 1v1, 2v2, or 3v3 soccer, but with bows and arrows. There's a giant ball, the edges of the field are sloped, and there's a ton of verticality. And if all of this is looking and sounding a lot like Rocket League, well, you're on the right track. The similarities here are more than coincidental, but you've got to appreciate a few key differences. The first person perspective makes everything a lot more intense, especially when a charged up ball is coming right at you, ready to knock you out. And of course, there's the physicality of it all. Shooting arrows non-stop will give your arms a bit of a workout, but it's when you're down there on the pitch and the ball goes flying past you, heading right toward your open, untended goal, is exactly when you find out just how physical knock can be. Because you're not moving around with the analog stick. Nope, instead you're grabbing the air and thrusting yourself in the direction and speed you want to go. It feels like skating. Well, and flying, I guess, too. Oh, sexy players. Oh, shit. It's like a match. And for a game that's all about getting a ball into a giant goal, Knock turned out to be a little more complex and meets the eye. Not only are you physically pushing the ball with your in-game avatar, but you're also shooting arrows, which run out way faster than you'd expect, meaning you'll frequently have to make a risky choice to abandon the ball and hope that your teammates have this under control while you collect more. But the real power move is learning how to shoot arrows that turn into blocks, which are temporary barricades, and of course communicating with your teammates to devise the best strategy, all of which is made much easier with in-game voice chat. Now, I want to be clear, I might be making it sound like I've become some kind of knock expert over the last week, but that's simply not true. I am terrible at knock, but it's so much fun that I kind of don't care. Uh, <laughs> who the fuck is the ball right now? There it is. The cross platform matchmaking system here works great and allows you to create lobbies with yourself or with a couple of friends, and it lets you get into a practice match and play while the game is hooking you up with other players. Now, prior to the PSVR 2 launch, there weren't exactly a ton of Quest gamers playing Knock, and the ones we did find were exactly the kind of people that you don't want to find. So hopefully Knock will find a larger, more mature audience now that it's on PlayStation VR 2. Custom games will allow you to populate both teams with bots, and it's a great way to practice and learn the basic gameplay mechanics. Right. So what else? Well, Knock has a great look overall, sporting a simplistic, futuristic art style displayed at the maximum resolution at 90 FPS. The soundtrack during the games is minimal with a bigger focus on crowds cheering and Pong-inspired sound effects, which sounds weird, but somehow it all works. Haptics feel good, and there's a decent battle pass system here too if you're like me and love XP bars and unlockable cosmetics. Now, while it's true that competitive VR esports have a tendency to die out before they even get a chance to live, I'm really hoping that Knock is able to buck that trend and have a long life, because honestly, it's one of the better ones that have come along. Uh -oh. Yeah, thank you. Fucking tongue cap to block it. Oh. Mm. Right, I'm gonna hang back. Serious, the smack talk has died down. No one can believe it. Oh no! Nice. 